Hey guys, I thought I'd show you the new feature that I've been working on, which is the in-game uh, simple radio overlay. So rather than using a separate program like we do currently, to well, a separate window at least, to show you the radio status and interact with it, um, my goal is to bring all that inside DCS. Uh, I'll always have the overlay as an option, but this is basically just another option if you if you want to use it. So we'll start off by just updating the latest version. Um, as always, extract everything out of the zip, uh, pick where you want it to go, pick your save games folder, obviously not your actual DCS folder, but the one that contains it, and install. That will then install the overlay. So you can check the new files are there by going to your C, save games, DCS scripts folder, or open alpha or open beta, depending on what version you're running. And there should be two new files, which show the overlay dialog and the overlay game GUI. So if for whatever reason you don't want the overlay at all in DCS, uh, just delete these two files. That's all you have to do. So the first time DCS is run, it will create the config for this overlay. So unfortunately, you can't configure it until you run DCS once uh, with the new overlay installed. So the configuration file will be in your DCS folder in the config folder. So when DCS finishes starting up, you'll see a file appear here. And while DCS is starting up, I'll just get the radio on and connected. Uh, I've also fixed the favorites file being deleted by updates. Um, so sorry for that. There we go. So. By default, the config file, which is here in Safe config, um, has the hotkey of Control Shift Escape for toggling the positions of the radio window. So if I press those and then drag the window, so the mouse is not letting me do it. Drag the window. There we go. So. This is the sort of full state of the window where you can see uh, what well, the chrome around the window and a sort of background color. So we can toggle that away with Control Shift Escape again. And now let's do a quick demo. Let's jump in a Huey. So nothing will be shown on the overlay as well uh, until you're in game. And if you ever lose connection, the overlay will sort of hide all the radio information after five seconds. Either from quitting simple radio or simple radio loses uh, the connection to a server. So there we go. There is our simple radio standalone overlay. See our three radios. Currently, none are selected. So let me jump back into the Huey cockpit and turn that off. Right. Here is the overlay. Now we'll use the selector to select the right shell, and I'll just zoom in on this as well so you can see this. Okay. So obviously we're on two five one, which is all there around. 258, 258, and we've got radio 1 selected, radio 2 selected, and then radio 3 selected. Um, we can also show guard on there. Um, so let's make this slightly less visible. Okay. Turn back on. So when you transmit, you'll see it says plus TR, and when you receive, the text will go white. And if you receive on a guard channel, uh, so on this one here, it appears red to show you the frequency of guard channel you're receiving on rather than a normal frequency. Uh, and that's about it. So just to show you this overlay is a copy of the normal one. So here they are side by side. And jump back up again. And again. 
So that's it really. Um, it doesn't really, you can't interact with this radio yet. I mean, you can click on it and highlight it, but uh, there's no actions. What I want to do is bring some of the key bindings into DCS as well, so that you can control the radio uh, entirely within DCS and you don't need to use the simple radio key bindings eventually, but that's going to be a long time down the road because um, I'm not really sure how to do that yet. Uh, this is all based off Jabba's work as well, which he did for the Twitch overlay, so massive thanks to him. Um, but yeah, if you... Oh, another thing to say is if you do edit your config file, make sure to restart DCS because the changes will only take effect once DCS has been started. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you have any trouble or if you do actually use it uh, on VR because uh, in theory this works, but obviously well, I don't have a headset so I can't check. But yeah, thanks a lot.